Aloha, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. My name is Master Paul. I'm honored to be connecting with you today. It is the 10th of May, 2017. And on today's live stream, I'll be focusing on boosting energy. There are soul mind body practices that can assist with releasing uh, a lot of blockages that tend to gather in our physical body, but they're actually originating in our energy body and our soul body. And this is where blockages tend to occur. And so when we do the practices for clearing the blockages at the level of soul, at the level of the chi, the energy, then we can recognize and feel the benefits at the physical level. So we have a lot to look forward to today. <clears throat> There's actually quite a few layers and quite a few different practices that can be done. And one includes soul, heart, mind, and body for boosting energy. We're just going to focus on a few today. So thank you all for joining me on this live stream. It's Wednesday. It is the third day this week. I do this live stream four days a week, Monday through Thursday. For those that are interested or just tuning in for the first time, please hit the subscribe button on my Facebook page. It may or may not show up on this video until you finish the video. But you can follow the uh, the icon for has my little image off to the side there. My name, Paul Fletcher. You can click on that. And it'll take you to my page, and you can choose to like and subscribe. <clears throat> but in either case, I am uh, very grateful that you're with me. On Monday and Tuesday, we focused on a couple of different subjects. Monday, I completed a series on what we can do to support our self healing process. I only offered four days on it. I could actually go go three or four weeks, but I decided not to because I wanted to work with things on an individual basis for now. And since uh, yesterday, uh, the subject matter was how to pass spiritual testing, what it is and how to pass it. And so that was actually a uh, very good training and there was blessings offered as well. So if you missed that and you're tuning in for the first time, I encourage you to <clears throat> to uh, uh, go above my video here where it talks about how you can access the archive videos and you can watch that from yesterday. You can watch quite a few. I've been doing this over a year and lots of different teachings on just about every part of the physical, mental, emotional bodies. So there is no shortage of information that can be shared and no shortage of wisdom that can be gained as the, uh, the nature of soul is fathomless, so to speak. So we can learn quite a bit. But today we're focusing on boosting your energy. So let me first connect to all those that have joined in. Thank you to all those that have jumped in here today. Please uh, hit that share button, let other people know about this. So welcome Ali. Welcome Susan. Welcome Maddie de Guaylo. Aloha Janine. And welcome to Janet Dunlop. Aloha Susan Duvendorn. Welcome Dana Knapp. Welcome CJ. And welcome Kristen Rojas, welcome Jane, welcome Sandra Kavana, welcome Kate, Aloha Karen Mahoney, Aloha Rianne, and welcome all to, to Cheryl. And Sandra's coming in from Ireland quite late over there, so welcome Sandra. And also welcome Pat, welcome Kathy Monahan, Aloha Brandy, Aloha Maria Magdalena, welcome Richie. And anybody else popped in there, please forgive me, I haven't seen your name yet. <clears throat> Thank you for joining today. As we do each and every day, it's important to connect. It's far more than just chanting one soul song for two or three minutes. It's actually literally connective. The source soul song of love, peace and harmony uh, is something that every soul is literally uh, infused with. And so when we chant it, it brings us together in a positive energy field, so to speak. And uh, so when one of you receives blessings, all of us receive blessings. When one of you releases a blockage, all of us is also releasing aspects of that same blockage. And the simple reason why is because we're all one. And so healing uh, occurs for all when it occurs for one. 
So let us connect. We place our hands in soul light, soul service hand position, which is much like a prayer. We drop our left hand in front of the heart center. The right hand remains pointed up towards heaven. <clears throat> Very gentle, leaving space. Close your eyes and let us invite in the beings of light. There are layers of the divine, the Tao, the source, original creator. Dear the soul of our individual heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints. Dear all lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, buddhas, and bodhisattvas. Dear the soul of all angels, healing angels and archangels. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We truly thank you for your unconditional service to us, to our journey, and to all souls. We ask for your presence today, that as we move forward in this practice, to release blockages that inhibit us from having energy in our life, to bless the wisdom, bless the practice, and bless our remembering so that we employ it on a daily basis as needed. We are very grateful. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Do the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony transmitted to all souls in all universes. We love you, we honor you, respect you. We ask for your presence as well today, and we invite all souls in all universes to turn on the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, to chant with us, <clears throat> and offer your unconditional service to all souls. So for those that are new, checking in for the first time, this is a blessing. It's a song, but it's also a blessing. So make a request. Everybody else, make a request. And we will chant together to offer this service to connect heart to heart, soul to soul. Let us begin. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Wo ai wo xian herling, wo ai chun ren li, wang li hing rong her mu shi shang, shang ai ping an he xie, shang ai ping an he xie. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Eloha maio, Eloha kakoa pao, Epihili mai puvai kakao, Aloha maluhia lokahi, Aloha maluhia lokahi. Ha, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. So for those that are not familiar with this song, uh, Kristen has very generously posted the information on it. Um, you can go to the resources page. It is, it is a, a uh, literally a movement. It's called Love, Peace, Harmony Movement. This song has been translated into 50 languages. The last language you heard me chant was Hawaiian. And uh, it is, the movement is to chant at least five minutes every day at noon the rest of the day more is better and it's a beautiful song uh it's it is composed it actually has beautiful music behind it and the copyright has been removed it's asked that you download it and share it far and wide as possible create movements around it create soul power groups around it where you gather people to chant to serve humanity um, there is quite a bit of movement around it to where it will be distributed worldwide uh, and there's been several movements, but we're trying to get it to be a bit more because truly what's needed is everything, everything is one and our collective oneness impacts the whole. And uh, just yesterday at one of the retreats, uh, at the retreat, Master Shah was chatting with all of us and he said, just a moment, let me check. And he checked with Divine the percentage of negativity and positivity in all humanity. And he received that there is currently in all humanity 
60% negativity, 40% positivity, which is why we're in such significant turmoil in the world. Because although we have a lot of pure heart beings and, and, and spiritual soldiers out there like yourself that are doing our part, we are overburdened by the sheer negativity that tends to, to uh, be forced upon us from many different directions. And so this is what's called collective consciousness in the form of negative. All we need to do as being one of the spiritual soldiers is to maintain collective positiveness. The difficulty in accomplishing that is not that we don't know it. It's that there hasn't been a method put in place that accomplishes it on a, on a simple and a consistent basis worldwide. And so therefore the source Soul Song of Love, Peace and Harmony has, has brought forth one movement, one song, with one series of words, you just heard, I love my heart and soul, I love all humanity, join hearts and souls together, love, peace and harmony, love, peace and harmony. That's been translated identically in 50 languages, so it can't be altered. It carries the highest positive frequencies of love and peace and harmony, and everyone is asked to chant it at noon their time. So that means that 24 times a day at noon, people all over the world are chanting it. This then is creating a positive energy field. And this will then, of course, overcome the negative energy field that is currently has a slight lead on the positivity throughout the world. So it is not that we don't understand it. It's that we haven't had a tool that can accomplish what needs to happen on a worldwide basis. So please learn more about this movement. Please follow the links, download this song, create Love, Peace, Harmony chanting groups in your area or via telephone. Just grab a couple of people once a week and, and, and chant for a half hour. And of course, continue to share uh, all forms of wisdom that support love, peace, and harmony. So, <clears throat> uh, welcome also to Angela. Angela, let's see if I can pronounce your last name. Digiacomo. Digiacomo. Welcome, Angie. Welcome, Renee. And also, welcome to Christopher Ronan. Welcome to. Johnny Mambodi, welcome Johnny, welcome C Love. Missed you all this time. Hopefully you're getting out of the hospital soon with your newborn. Welcome Master Gina. Welcome also to uh, to Janet Hoffman. Welcome Dakota Arnold. And if you didn't hear me earlier, Richie, welcome. Welcome Jenny Jane Marshall. And welcome Andre Stella. Thank you all for joining. A lot of new names here. <clears throat> Happy to see you. Hope you can stay the whole time. This is recorded, so if you're unable to, uh, please go to my Facebook page and click on the uh, subscribe. You'll be made aware when I go live. And of course, you can always come back and watch the recording. It's always best when you're live because you can always get huge blessings. So for those that stay, uh, there, will be, there will be a special blessing that I will offer today for... A lucky recipient and it will be for an energy center associated with maintaining our energy and so <clears throat> I encourage you to stay because that will not be offered until the second half of this live stream so the title of this workshop is soul mind body wisdom for boosting our energy <clears throat> Many of you have heard the information before, some of you are new, and so one of the great teachings is that we are soul first, then we are uh, mind and body. Soul, heart, mind, energy, body, in that order. <clears throat> Our physical energy levels <clears throat> are actually as a result of blockages that occur at the level of soul, which impact our chi, our energy, which then impact our physical experience. So if we try to deal with things down here at this level by supplementing with vitamins, minerals, things of that nature, it's not a bad idea. Our food is so uh, uh, prostituted nowadays that we almost have to supplement our, our physical being with those kinds of things. But if that's our only solution, then we're, we're severely lacking. We need to take a look and recognize that there's a reason why our body has has went through a form of deterioration and a lack of energy. And in almost every case, it boils back to a root. The root, according to the wisdom and teachings that I work with, uh, is soul. Our soul carries forth all of the positive and unpleasant virtue that we've generated in all lifetimes, and that can impact us. So for example, if we've harmed people's uh, hearts, either through 
uh, through tremendous emotional suffering caused upon them or physically causing harm to their hearts. Maybe we tainted their water, it hurt their heart. Maybe one of our ancestors was in war and hurt their heart, any number of things, but it created a spiritual debt. That then comes to impact us at the physical level because uh, our soul lives forever and it carries forth this spiritual debt. Our soul is um, us. We are a mirror image of the soul. We are, a, we are experiencing at the human level something on the soul's behalf. And so when our uh, many, many lifetimes we bring forth spiritual debt and spiritual virtue, if we have in previous times harmed people's hearts in this example, um, that would absolutely impact our energy in this uh, life experience. Same thing if we harmed people's uh, livers. That would impact our energy in this experience. Sometimes we simply make unpleasant choices at the soul level where we guide people the wrong way, spiritually speaking, and that also creates spiritual debt. And when these kinds of things occur, they create blockages at the soul, heart, mind, energy, matter level. So that's a mouthful, soul, heart, mind, energy, matter. So I have to take a few minutes because there's some new people to, to fill in some background so it makes sense to you. Because we're leading to a point where you can resolve energy blockages with this higher awareness. Uh, soul, or the word Shen in Mandarin Chinese, my teacher Master Sha refers to it as Shen, Qi, and Jing. Shen reflects the, the, the attributes of soul, heart, and mind. Soul leads the heart. Heart then leads the mind. <clears throat> the mind then directs the qi. The qi then uh, adjusts the matter. Okay? At least I see your comment on deep grief. There are some solutions for that using this wisdom. So I encourage you to um, go to Facebook uh, and type in uh, Paul, to the search bar, type in Paul Fletcher metal element or Paul Fletcher lungs or Paul Fletcher sadness and grief. And you should find one of my old videos that refer to some of the solutions for that. But we'll cover some aspects today that will assist you. So anyway, Shen Qi and Jing, soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. Soul is the predecessor of everything. Uh, we literally are a mirror image of all the blockages that are, that are laying at our soul level. We wouldn't be here on earth if we didn't have some blockages, if we didn't have some karma. We would be hanging out with God. That's the joke I have, hanging out with God in heaven, having a good conversation. That's where we would be on a permanent basis if we didn't have any karma. But we're here, so we must have some. And so we got to recognize that that will have an impact on our energies depending upon the amount of blockages at the soul level will depend on our suffering here on earth. Now in terms of the energy of our body, there are a couple of different possible uh, aspects that could negatively impact our energy. <clears throat> For example, you could have blockages in your seven chakra system. How would that impact your energy? Well, Life force flows through the seven chakras and it doesn't just go from the top to the bottom, it goes around in a circle because the, uh, the, what's called the Tao Song channel, uh, in, in, in at least the language that we use, other people might call it the microcosmic circuit, many different languages for it, but the Qi flows through the channel uh, in a circle. And if there are blockages along the seven chakras, then that would absolutely impact the energy negatively. That's an example. Another example of what could possibly impact our physical world energy levels is blockages in the major organs or systems, such as I just mentioned the heart or the liver. Same thing with the lungs. If you have blockages in the lungs, that's, that's my testing organ, then obviously we're gonna have a lack of oxygenation. A lack of oxygenation equates to a lack of energy. Very simple set of, of circumstances. So the lungs could impact your energy. Same thing with the, the, uh, the spleen. The spleen is the earth element. The spleen has many functions, but it is, it is one of the uh, organs that breaks down the essences of the foods. It assists with the purification of the blood. It has quite a few functions that could absolutely impact the functioning of our energy. There was a doctor uh, in Texas that has this little, uh, little machine. It's about this big. It was originated in Russia in the 50s. And uh, it just puts out frequencies. 
And he discovered it because he started having, he was just literally one day uh, just knocked out. His energy levels were so bad over the course of time that he couldn't even get out of bed. And nobody could figure it out. No medical industry, no, no, nothing natural could figure it out. So he started doing his own research and he boiled it back to uh, something in his, in his mouth. He actually got a root canal that, that was uh, impeded upon the spleen energy meridian and the research that he was reading said you can tell because if you look at your hand where the spleen line crosses you will see if it's been impeded it will have this kind of a of a line on it and sure enough his hand had that line he went and had the root canal removed uh, and instantly his energy popped back up can the spleen impact your energy yes no different than a low energy heart, no different than lungs, no different than an over process, a liver that's been overtaxed by too many chemicals. The same thing with the kidneys. The kidneys can impact your energy negatively. The kidneys are the first organ formed in the, in the, in the body. When, when uh, pictures are taken of the fetus being formed, as far as organs goes, it's the first. Isn't that interesting? The kidneys are known in traditional Chinese medicine to feed and nourish the brain and the spiritual third eye. And so it stands to reason that with, with kidneys, we could have significantly low energy. It's also, of course, the processor of our water and all of our, our water-based systems. So there are many little aspects that can go wrong in the human body at the physical level. What's important for us to comprehend is the recognition that we are soul before we are body. And so when we take the time to nurture our soul, to clear the Shen Qi Jing blockages at the level of soul, then our energy will naturally turn around. Thyroid, good point Sandra. Thyroid could be underactive, could be causing fatigue. But guess what chakra has a direct association to the thyroid? The fifth chakra. The thyroid itself, uh, it, you know, controls many, many functions in the body. So hypothyroid, hyperthyroid, it can absolutely impact us in that way. But the thing to go and understand is that the soul carries forth this karma. One of the students here in the, at the Tao Center in Honolulu, uh, at the age of 27, 28, had thyroid cancer. Had a thyroid taken out. Uh, didn't have a choice in the matter. How do you have thyroid cancer at 27, 28? There's only one solution, it's karma, right? She didn't smoke cigarettes, she didn't do anything that would have caused that, it just came on. So we need to understand the nature of spiritual debt, that it resides at our soul level, it impacts us at this level. You could have depression. That's definitely gonna impact your energy levels. What is depression? Depression is blockages at the level of the message center, the fourth chakra, the heart center. So when you look at what is the soul, mind, body solution for energy, there are a myriad of possibilities. Now I tell you this not so that you can get bogged down and go, oh my God, I'm never going to figure this out. It's so that you can start to recognize the overriding solution to bringing about higher and better health in all areas. This is one of the wisdoms that I'm so greatly, uh, 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 so profoundly grateful to my teacher, Master Shah. Because everything I'm sharing with you, I had I was completely clueless until Master Shah brought this. Being a doctor being of, of uh, traditional Chinese medicine and having studied and received doctor credentials when he was in China of Western medicine, he has a very wide and pure knowledge of both Western and Eastern medicine. And he practiced both, but he realized that it was limited and he would, could only get so far with them. And that's when he uh, started, he, well, he, since the age of five, he'd already been training with spiritual beings, spiritual masters. He became a, a grandmaster in Tai Chi, I Ching, Feng Shui, Kung Fu, uh, uh, Qi Gong, Qi Gong Master of the Year in 2002. So he understands the energy body uh, implicitly. But one of his masters, Master Qi Cheng Guo, who was known in all of China to be the master who cured the incurables, uh, this master would have people coming through his commissary, 200 or more a day, and, and a good chunk of them, I don't know the percentages, but I would guess between 30 and 50% of the incurables walked out cured. Now you can't say that in Western medicine because the only thing that can cure is pharmaceuticals according to our present government. So, okay, that's the only thing that can cure, pharmaceuticals. 
But in case you happen to have your own individual belief system, you might want to look at a recognition that the soul is where the energetic blockages originate from. And this master taught that to Master Sha. And he taught him that when we do forgiveness, when we do practices to release the spiritual debts, then our body can improve. Our health can improve. Our overall well-being can improve because it is the spiritual debt that impacts the liver negatively, that impacts the chakras negatively. It is the karma that impacts our entire soul negatively. And we are a reflection of our soul. For those that are new, if you had long-standing neck pain, your soul at the soul level literally would have darkness around the neck. If you've had long-standing liver issues or, or liver issues have run through your family, hepatitis always running through the family, if you saw your liver at the soul level, it would have darkness at the liver because it's a soul problem first. So today we're going to focus on one practice specifically for uh, boosting our energy and it works in almost every case regardless of all the other things that I have just mentioned. And the reason why it works in almost every case, if we do it, you know, long enough, um, is because you want to think of it like if you took uh, a, a, a wind-up flashlight into a dark room and you started winding it up, the light would be dim at first and the room would just barely start to see a little bit of the light. But as you kept winding it, it would become as bright as th that flashlight could possibly make it. Now, if that flashlight, if you could, uh, uh, if it had an unlimited amount of power that could be generated, all you had to do is wind a little bit more, then it would become so bright that the room would no longer be dark at all. And so that's the same thing that happens when you boost power to your foundational energy centers. You have a wind up flashlight in your body, so to speak. And when you wind it up using the practices uh, that different masters have different practices. The ones we'll be using today are the ones that Master Shah has brought to us. When you take the time to do the practices for the foundational energy centers, you will have more energy. Now, each and every day, I make a decision what I'm going to be teaching on. I check with a guidance, and my energy was low today. What does that mean? I knew instantly that I needed to do practice for my foundational energy centers. So why not teach you guys what I know, and then we all benefit. You wind up your flashlight, we send more light and love and power to the world. Collectively, we win. It's a win-win scenario, right? And so now let us understand how it works. So what, why, and how? What is a foundational energy center? Well, there are several of them, first of all. But in, the, in Master Shah, he refers to uh, one of three is the lower Don Tien. It is this uh, same area as the second chakra. And if you've heard of Tai Chi or Qi Gong, uh, or you've seen people doing Tai Chi, they move their hands in a circle, they move side to side, little, almost a little bit like hula movements, except they do it in a very uh, methodical and circular manner. They may have a pattern in which they follow where they go through 10, 12, 14, 22 moves, whatever it might be but their teacher teaches them to put their focus in their lower Dantian. Where is the lower Dantian? The lower Dantian is two inches, excuse me, an inch and a half below the belly button and about two inches inside the body. For the most part, it's in the center of the body, approximately an inch and a half below the belly button. Okay, so visualize that area. That's where the lower Dantian or second chakra would be at. Okay. This area is what's called a uh, postnatal energy center, meaning it doesn't come with its own energy. We have to boost it on a consistent basis. So we have these, quote, flashlights in our body, these wind-up flashlights that if we take the time to boost them, we can bring significant benefit to our health and well-being. Today we're going to focus on this one uh, to accomplish that. Now, other ones that you just, as I mentioned, that I have taught in past live streams and will teach in future live streams is, for example, the Kundalini area. 
It's also known as the Golden Urn. It's also known as the Snow Mountain Area. Uh, that's also considered a major important foundational energy center that when boosted definitely impacts our energy positively. Uh, and another one is actually the heart center. These are called foundational energy centers. The heart center is not the heart. The heart is actually a little bit in the left side of your chest, whereas the heart center is in the center behind the sternum. That would be your fourth chakra. And so it can get significant blockages that create energy blockages for us as well. But we won't focus on those other two today. Today, we're only going to focus on the lower Don Tien. All right? Okay. Now, there are a myriad of ways this area can be boosted. But I'm going to teach you one that you can remember so that you can apply it. Master Shah teaches that if we do this practice three to five times a day, three to five minutes each time, in the course of that whole day, you will have accomplished about a half hour. That's a very good amount of time to do practice. If you can do it all at once, it's actually better. Kind of like a morning cup of coffee. The foundational energy center, the second chakra or lower Don Tian, uh, is a fist size energy center. It's approximately two inches around, about the size of your fist. And uh, it is the center when you boost it that can boost your immunity, your stamina, your vitality. It can assist you with releasing blockages with constipation, things of that nature. Whatever is in the lower part of the abdomen can be very positively impacted by boosting this area. Anyone that has, for example, um, blockages with pain in the intestines, uh, any of the um, uh, intestinal related blockages with the unpleasant names such as uh, diverticulitis or, or colitis or, or any of the itises. Uh, when somebody boosts power to this area, it actually makes those pains and sufferings less because of the frequency. And also, if somebody has those kinds of conditions, it's definitely a heavier form of a karma and it does absolutely assist to receive the higher level blessings to release those uh, blockages. <clears throat> now, uh, Sandra, um, there are some soul level solutions that you might want to look into for thyroid uh, and you can message me later and I can give you some, some side information on that. So welcome to Jennifer, welcome to Elizabeth, uh, welcome to Sevi. Sebi Costa Aris, and uh, welcome to Lisa, and anybody else that I might have missed, please forgive me. Master Shah teaches us four powers. Body power, where we place our hands is where energy goes. Sound power, sound power is mantra. Mantra is very important because when you chant, what you chant is what you become. So if you chant a divine love, you become divine love. What you chant is what you become. Body power, sound power. Mind power, creative visualization. It absolutely makes a difference what you focus on. We know that to be a truth. So these are three of the four powers. The fourth power is soul power. Aloha and welcome, Manfred. Thank you for joining us. Soul power is actually the most potent and important power to accomplish the results that we want. So let us employ these. Soul power, a little more information. There is inner souls and outer souls. We all know about outer souls. God, Jesus, Buddha. These are outer souls, okay? Inner souls, on the other hand, are uh, things like our organs on our systems or our chakras. These inner souls, they have a beingness. And, 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 and the wisdom that Master Shah shared with us, Aloha Linda Smith, the wisdom that Master Shah shares with us is that everyone and everything is made of our original creator. So every speck of energy, every speck of matter has creator consciousness in it. Therefore, it has a soul. So the, uh, every soul's purpose is to serve. <clears throat> and every soul's purpose is to serve. So our organ is serving us. Our liver is serving us. Our brain is serving us. Everything is serving us. We, on, behalf, on the other hand, are trying to grow to reach the heart of the divine. So we do service and then we uplift ourselves as well. So service is what uplifts us. So everything is here to serve. So soul power acknowledges that. Soul power, the fourth of the four power technique, 
acknowledges that when we ask the souls of those higher than us, such as our beloved Jesus, beloved Mother Mary, beloved Buddha, Kuan Yin, Krishna, all the beings of light that have served before us, when we ask them and their light to uh, assist us, then we dramatically enhance the results. When we connect to the souls of our organs, our systems, our body parts, our chakras, they go, oh, what? What? My, my boss is talking to me? The, the soul who I'm assisting is, is communicating with me? Wow, I better listen. We give them love. We give them gratitude. We give them attention. When we give these souls attention, then great benefits can come. Aloha Sherry, you came in. I'm teaching the four power techniques, which we're now going to employ to boost power to the lower Dantian, the second chakra. So everybody, wherever you're at, sit up straight. Bring your back away from the back of the chair. <clears throat> the body power, we're going to place one hand on our lower abdomen. You want to place your knuckle in your belly button and just gently relax it over uh, your lower abdomen. Do not push, just relax. The other palm can be relaxed over that palm. This will be your body power. Where your hands go, energy flows. For the sound power, I will go between a couple of different mantras. I may chant divine light. I may chant divine love. I may chant the sound power, jo, 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 jo. I will definitely chant out loud and silent, and I will definitely chant slow and fast. This vibrates the cellular matter, uh, the small cells and the large cells, and creates a movement in the areas that are blocked and therefore creates more energy in this chakra, in this lower Dan Tian. So this is your body power and your sound power. For creative visualization, mind power, you're going to visualize golden light coming into that two inch round light ball in the center of your abdomen. Remember, it's about an inch and a half below your belly button, about in the center of your body. This is your lower Dan Tian. So visualize light coming in from 360 degrees, not only through the top of your head, not only from Mother Earth, from every direction, through your pores into this area. I like to visualize the area turning and spinning and gathering the light and condensing the light. So it helps me to gather when I'm condensing and spinning uh, my spin is slow. I don't like to go too fast because it makes me dizzy. So I recommend that you spin slowly and gather the light. <clears throat> Four, soul power. Please repeat after me. Close your eyes and let us connect. Dear all the beings of light, including my beloved Creator, God. Dear beloved Jesus, Mother Mary. Dear beloved Buddha. Dear beloved Kuan Yin. Dear beloved Krishna. Lord Vishnu, dear beloved angels, healing angels, archangels, masters, ascended masters, lamas, gurus, sifus, saints, I love you all, honor you all, appreciate you all. Can you please bless me with your love and light to boost power to my foundational energy centers? Dear Mother Earth, Father Heaven, all stars, planets, galaxies, and universes, I love you. Could you please bless me with your frequencies of love and light? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So we've connected to the outer souls. Now let us connect to the inner souls. Dear the soul of my lower Dan Tian, my second chakra, I love you, honor you, and appreciate you. You have the power to boost yourself, to gather the light, and to heal rejuvenate and energize yourself. You have the power to boost my energy, stamina, and vitality, and immunity. Do a good job. Thank you. So now let us close our eyes. <coughs> I will lead the mantra. The more you focus, the greater the results. Jo, Jo, Jo. Jo, Jo, when you chant, Jo, chant from your lower abdomen. Of course the sound will come out of your throat, but chant from your lower abdomen. Jo, 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 
Pay attention to your energy levels before we start. We're going to check when we're done. Jo, 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 Jo 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 see the light gathering condensing light 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 All my downloads and treasures for divine love, divine light, Tao love, Tao light. Turn on, subdivide, go to each of those watching today, each of those listening. Bless their lower Dantian, boost their power with your love and light. As appropriate. Begin. Light. Light. Remember, chant from your lower abdomen. Light. Light, 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 <coughs> divine light, 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 divine light. Divine light, 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 divine light. Divine light, 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 divine light. Silently chant. Divine light. See divine light coming. Divine light. Heaven is showering its light on you. Divine light. Divine light. Silently. Divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light. See it gathering in your lower dantian. See the golden ball gathering the light. Stronger, stronger, brighter, brighter. Divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light. Divine light, divine light, divine light, divine light, brighter, 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 divine light, divine light, divine light, divine. 
divine light, 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 divine light. And now three more minutes. Jo, 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 Jo 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 Slowly, jo, 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 jo. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. How? Thank you, Divine Tao Source. Thank you, all the beings of light who came to offer their service. You may stay if you desire. Otherwise, please respectfully return. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. So, when you open your eyes, are your eyes brighter? Did you notice if you had discomfort before you started in your abdominal area, has it quelled? Is it better? Did you feel heat moving throughout your body? Do you notice whatever you came in with? Maybe it was a headache. Is your headache gone? Very often when we bring uh, uh, copious amounts of energy to this area purposefully, then uh, we can release blockages very quickly. <clears throat> Burning heat in the lower abdomen. Chest is pulsating, says Sevi. Powerful. Good. Lots of openings. We have to remember that the second chakra, the lower Dantian, is part of seven chakras. And so when we boost power to this area, it literally uh, frees up part of the channel that the light goes through when it, when it courses through the seven chakras and around the backside of the body. And so it's kind of like uh, if you have a plumbing problem, and you pour rotor rooter down there and all of a sudden whoosh, it's clean. When you boost power to your foundational energy center, such as this practice, you can assist not only this area, but many, many things. That's one of the reasons why it is called a foundational energy center. Okay, so Lisa says, uh, eyes more wide open. Dana says, thank you, Master Paul and Divine Treasures. Yeah, you're welcome. Um, Janet says, burning heat in the lower abdomen, chest pulsing, wide awake. Maddie says, my right leg was numb and hot the whole time. That's curious. Moving some chi through there. Uh, Lisa says, it gave me SBE. I'm not sure what SBE is. Um, uh, Kate, Nicole is watching. Welcome, Kate. Susan says, wow, like I was in a crystal lotus. I'm with... Um, Beautiful light and was an idol. I am warmth and feeling incredible. Great. I was really low on energy, but she has some now. And Lisa says also gave her some energy. Susan says her stomach is now buzzing. Twinkles and heat, says Kate. Pressure in the ears pops, says Sevi. Sandra says amazing and incredibly grateful. Uh, very powerful, more calm. Thank you. Okay. So let me check. I promised that I was going to offer a special blessing. Let me check.
Okay. So, um, Okay, I'm trying to think, how do I do this? Okay, I'm thinking of a letter right now. Whoever gets closest to that letter will be the winner. You guys are gonna have to help me because I don't get to see all of them. <coughs> and don't, so don't put in your, num your letter yet. There's 24 possibilities. And if there's more than one person that gets it, then more than one person gets the blessing. What I'm going to do is I'm going to offer two blessings together in one. I'm going to offer a crown chakra blessing and a soul operation together for the uh, boosting of the crown chakra blessing will be for the boosting of your energy. The soul operation will be for the second soul house. And this will be the, the package that I'll make available to everybody. The reason why the crown chakra blessing will be for boosting of energy is because the energy blockages are not always just in the lower Dan Tian. They could be related to some in the heart. There could be some blockages in the channel. We just spoke about that. There could be some blockages in the kidneys. A crown chakra blessing is divine intelligence. It knows exactly what to accomplish. It just goes where it needs to go. I ask for the blessing. It, it knows exactly where to go to clear the blockages for a boosting of energy. The uh, lower, the lower Don Tian, on the other hand, does need a rotor rooter, so I'll offer a soul operation for that area, and that will, that's going to be about a hundred times more powerful in this practice. To give you an idea, uh, the soul operation for that area. Now, the the normal honor, uh, if anybody's interested after the fact, the crown chakra blessings, which can be used for anything, for depression, they can be used for anything. It doesn't matter what it is, but in this case, we're using it for energy. The normal crown chakra honor fee is 100. The normal soul operation is 75. For those that take advantage of this in the next, I'll leave this open for 10 days, then uh, the honor fee is the same as the crown chakra. So instead of 175, it's only 100 and you get both, specifically for the condition of energy, okay? <clears throat> um, so I'm going to offer this to whoever is closest to the letter. I've already have the letter in my head. I just thought about it like 30 seconds ago. So you all put one letter down only, okay? And then I will tell you what that letter is and you all tell me who is closest because the way my system works, I can't actually see everybody's post. I get to see some of them, but not everybody's. You get to see everybody's, okay? So go ahead and put in your letter. I'll wait. I see R's, N's, M's, I see a K, I see another M, I see an A, I see a J, an F, a thank yous, <laughs> I see a P, an O, another M, <coughs> a D, I see an L surrounded by hearts. One more minute. I see a T, a C, the letter Z, another M. An A, <coughs> excuse me, the letter C, thirty seconds. Lula, Lula, Li. Lula, Lula, la, li. I see a D. Lula, Lula, li, Lula, Lula, li, Lula, 
Lula, li, Lula. Yes, I'm feeling much better. Thank you. My purification hopefully is complete. <coughs> I love my heart and soul. Ten more seconds. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Okay. I see a letter L. Okay. We are done. So now we're going to move forward. And CJ says, wow, that was powerful. Yep, she can feel the energy. She saw with her third eye a lotus flower and bright light from heaven. <coughs> uh, Linda says she was hot all along her back. She feels wonderful. Blessing for her son, Eddie, in heaven. Okay, so we're going to fast forward through all of these. <coughs> Thank you, Maddie. Okay, so the letter is the letter S. S as in Sam. So who, who is closest? You guys have to tell me. Either, either on it or closest. LaRonda had a T, okay. Anybody have the S? Anybody have an R? <coughs> okay. It looks like It looks like LaRonda. I don't know. Did anybody have an R? I'm not sure. I'm just asking. There was a, a couple of R. One of them was nine. Nine. So please let me know if LaRonda's uh, the closest or if there's an R also. <coughs> okay. So. What is, aloha Shirley. Okay, so Kate, did Kate have an R? Is that correct? All right. So you guys had to trust me with my letter. I didn't make it up. I have to trust you. So I'm trusting that yours is correct. So we have two winners. We have Kate and we have LaRonda. So you will both receive what is called a crown chakra blessing. You'll both receive what is called a soul operation. Now, a crown chakra blessing is uh, a power that I have received as a master teacher, studying with Master Shah for over nine years now. And uh, I did not receive that ability until last year. I had many other healing transmissions that are miracle, miraculous in themselves, but when I became uh, a, a master teacher last year, I received this uh, authority. It is truly remarkable. You can, for those that are interested, receive it for any number of things. Um, it's really good for emotional blockages, mindsets, attitudes, beliefs. Uh, it's really good for releasing, you know, sufferings around relationship. It, it's good for those kinds of things that keep us bogged down on a mental, emotional level. Uh, but it can be used for virtually anything. So if it's of interest to you, you can get it by itself for a different subject matter. The honor fee is 100 but for today, this is specifically for energy. And the crown chakra blessing, what it is, is I place my hand on top of the person's uh, head, but obviously I'm not there. Um, these blessings, I know unequivocally 100% work phenomenally at a distance. I've done this far too long for too often to not see a lot of results. Um, so I will ask you to, to pay attention to your energetic levels, what you might feel, what you might see. If there's anybody watching that has spiritual third eye, please feel free to share what you see. I will share uh, my observations as well. <clears throat> I will offer the um, crown chakra blessing first. I will offer the soul operation second. A soul operation, and by the way, the crown chakra blessing is two minutes. So I, I literally just put my hand out like this 
I'll call their souls here. I'll, um, I can do both souls at the same time. I'll have to put both hands up. Uh, and it'll be a two-minute blessing. And what happens is their crowns literally open up. Their, their, their chakras, their crown chakra opens up. And heaven's light pours in for the request and just, just clears all kinds of blockages. Very much like a waterfall, uh, just clinging everything out. The soul operation that I'll offer is, uh, th those are so awesome. I love doing soul operations. Um, basically, the, the soul has an aura. And so this cuts open the aura, much like a surgery. It cuts open the aura. I then open things up. I clear out the blockages with divine light. I then close it, suture it, smooth it over. Very much like a, a, a surgery, but it is done remotely or in person. And it has the same effect. It clears the Shen Qi Jing blockages. So again, for those two receiving, Kate, Nicole, and LaRonda, um, pay attention to your levels of energy um, and how, you know, just anything you can to measure. Any pain you may have, pay attention to that. Any blockages you may have, uh, limitations, pay attention to those. We'll see what kind of a difference it will make. Even though this blessing is just for energy, it could bring about some shift for you that's noticeable immediately. Okay. Give me a moment to prepare. How? Do the soul of, uh, let me find LaRonda's full name here. LaRonda Aldridge, soul of LaRonda Aldridge, please come. Do the soul of Kate Nicole, please come. Love you, honor, appreciate you, respect you. Please open yourself fully to receive this blessing. This crown chakra blessing is for two minutes. Prepare to receive. Where you're at, please sit up straight, back away from the back of the chair. Rest your hands on your lower abdomen. <clears throat> Touch your tongue to the roof of your mouth. Relax your shoulders. Breathe in your lower abdomen, nice and relaxed. Prepare to receive. Crown Chakra Blessing for Kate Nicole, for LaRonda Aldridge, for boosting their energy levels and as appropriate, releasing whatever blockages are inhibiting their energy from being normalized. As appropriate. Crown Chakra Blessing for both of these souls. Start! I will chant to fill in the gap. Hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, uh, hey, oh. hey, uh, hey, hey, Ya he ya he ya he ya he yo He ya He ya yo He ya he yo Ya he ya he ya he ya he ya yo Hey, ah, hey, ah, ya, hey, ya, hey, ya, ya, yo. Hey, ah, ya, hey, ya, ya, hey, ya, ya, yo. Hey, ah, yo, hey, ah, ya. Hey, ya. Both very blessed. 
continue to remain in position, you will receive now soul operation for your lower dantian second chakra. Soul operation for La Ronda and Kate for lower dantian second chakra as appropriate. Begin. Cut. Open. E e e e Close. Ha ha ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Special treasures, please return. Soul of Laranda, soul of Kate, please return. Ha. You are both very, very blessed. So if anybody had a third eye, a spiritual eye, please share anything you might have seen. I would do uh, a gentle reading for the blockages that were cleared. And for those that may have just tuned in, this is a combination package for uh, boosting your energy with a crown chakra blessing and a soul operation to clear blockages in the uh, lower Dantian. And they're both the uh, honor fee of only a hundred. <coughs> okay, Rhonda says, Wow, beautiful. Elizabeth says, Wow, it was wonderful. And uh, you're very welcome. It was uh, very, very powerful. So while you are sharing what the experience was, uh, if you felt anything, please note that. Um, if you have any, any, uh, um, noticeable shift um, tune in tomorrow let us know and everybody of course receives a bit of a splash so Laura if you're if you're interested please uh, Facebook message me and I can cover the the details of that it's very simple to do <coughs> uh, Kate says she felt lots of warmth and tingling around her face and head interesting okay so maybe there were some blockages in the circulation in that area. Maybe a little bit too much going on upstairs. Uh, thinking too much, Kate. LaRonda says she felt like she was sinking in her right and her right arm. Okay, Aloha Nebedita. <clears throat> so I will do a, a brief reading for uh, you guys to let you know what transpired. How for our beloved daughter Laranda. This blessing was very important. There has been a dilapidation of energy as a result of mental strain, which has taxed her normal joyfulness and desire to be of value to others. This had associations with blockages in her heart center, kidneys, brain, and her Tao Song channel. That, that's the channel that flows the Chi through all the seven chakras. This crown chakra blessing cleared a substantial amount of blockages. She should notice better sleep, less uh, angry actions and reactions, and improved stabilized energy through the course of the day. She is very blessed. How? And for Kate. How? For our beloved Kate. Kate's 
vessel works like a super-powered computer, always working overtime with a little bitty fan to cool it off. This brings a great deal of stress to her other organs and systems. This blessing reorganized for Kate her thinking processes, removed aspects of fear and anxiety that were bringing about the busyness of the mind so that a different way of looking at things could occur that would in turn wind down the ramping up of the processes that in turn drain the energy. This will be reflected through the next week or two and will also be reflected with better sleep, less stress, more energy, and a better outlook on life. You are both very blessed. How, how, how? Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, very powerful blessing. I tell you, the crown chakra blessings are stunning. So I know some of you just came in. I encourage you to watch this uh, again. Um, it is very powerful. There are special blessings being offered where uh, for a crown chakra blessing, for boosting your energy, releasing whatever blockages might be inhibiting your energy levels from being normalized. And then also a soul operation for the Lower Don Tian Foundation Energy Center, which of course will boost your energy as well. Um, they're normally 175, 100 for one, 75 for the other, but both together were only 100. I will leave that open for 10 days. And you can all uh, contact me either through Facebook Messenger or call me, text me, email me, asoulhealer at yahoo.com. My, my website, uh, of course, has my information listed at the bottom of it. <clears throat> I look forward to being back here tomorrow to serve you more. And um, uh, I just, uh, I'm reading, so I'm, I'm just responding how to respond. But if you have questions, um, just feel free to, to message me separately, okay? Love you, love you, love you. Thank you to all the beings of light who offered your service here today. Thank you, everyone. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.